powder coating cast lead bullets. It's kind of an area I stayed away from for quite some time. I heard about it a few years ago. And I do cast a lot of bullets and I shoot a lot of cast bullets. Laying is always an ever-present problem and uh, as you're seeing from my videos with the bore cam and that, even on a good day, your cast bullets with gas checks will kind of light your barrels up. So, <clears throat> what powder coat is, it's a process of painting parts. You see it a lot. I worked for a couple companies. We used to powder coat uh, the parts I made, basically fishing and marine equipment. And what powder coating is, it's a form of paint that you run a positive and negative charge between the part and the gun, the spray gun. You spray powder, it clings to the surface, and then it's baked in an oven, and it puts on a pretty much about a 4,000 thick, heavy, high gloss uh, coat of paint. Kind of almost like a plating, a little bit of both. Um, and it's used in automotive, it's, it's, you know, we used it for, we we're making fishing reels and marine equipment, uh, the outside reels and that were power coated pretty heavy and uh, <clears throat> it's actually a good thing. Well, someone got the idea, well, what if I powder coat my lead bullets and then I can shoot them in a gun, it won't let up. Actually, how you use it this way is basically you're plating a uh, bullet, like Barry's bullets are uh, plated through electroplating, they play copper on them, and that has been around for quite some time. With such a setup, it's pretty expensive, and it's not something you can do like in your garage. So, a fellow down in Australia decided, well, you know, let's power coat bullets. And if you go on YouTube, there's about 10 billion, or there's, there's a lot, there's a lot of videos on how to do it. And since the application, if it works, if I can get it to work, will come in handy for some items I have, future projects where lubricating the bullet will be a pain. Uh, the only bullet I'm going to be able to shoot is a cast bullet, and I'm going to do it with smokeless powder, so I kind of want to, if I could get something that puts a jacket on a cast bullet and cuts down on the leading, that'd be great. I don't know about accuracy, so a lot said and done. There's three basic methods you could use at home. You either go to Harbor Freight and buy the gun, the little gun set up and spray, and usually you have to stack them or put them on a rack. There's one guy that wires his bullets, sprays them, <clears throat> and then uh, puts them in the oven, coats them. It comes out pretty good. There's a dry method, which basically you take a tub, Preheat the bullets. This is the quick and easy. There's about 10 videos like this. Yeah, you put them in a tub, shake them up, dump them out, and then uh, heat them up and bake the paint on uh, Fortune Cookie, I think it's 45 LC. Uh, this guy's done a ton of videos on this. Talk about it, pros, cons, problems he's had. Uh, why I've watched just whole bunch of his videos and it kind of helped me decide on what to do. I tried the dry method, it didn't work. I'm finding that using the wet method, in other words you mix the powder in acetone and make a solution, squirt the solution in a pail, shake the bullets around like kind of like tumble lube and then bake them. <clears throat> I'm kind of having better luck with that. I did not have real good luck with the dry method. I didn't want to go and get a powder coat gun because then it's just going to be so time consuming it's not worth doing it. Uh, and I've been trying it. So we'll, we'll look at my results and what I've been coming up with. Actually, I've got a bunch here that are going to come out in a minute. And uh, I'm going to pull them out of the oven here anytime now. Okay, I figured I might as well film this for video tape. I had them in 20 minutes at 400 degrees, it just pinged. I'm going to pull out the tray. And these are looking a lot better. And what I have is a non-stick uh, 
Teflon coating thing here. And I kind of spread them out when I do them. to a point where I'm kind of happy with them and we'll take a closer look we'll let everything cool down but that's what I'm doing here I'll show you I just get my gloves on I'm using the tray that came with the toaster oven put it on the Walmart bomb and what I'm using is uh, a uh, Teflon non-stick baking sheet, which the bullets don't stick to it, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Keep moving them around. All righty. And we'll take a look at what results I had. 